Hello everyone, this is Mike Grady, business teacher at Hoover High School, and wanted to talk to you today about how we are um, operating the senior businesses and what we've been working on for the past couple weeks, and just give you an update uh, about some of the things the students have been telling me about what it's like to suddenly operate their business at home. So first of all, we've been moving forward with the companies the best that we can. Uh, we really aren't selling right now because it's very difficult. Uh, we were working on setting up some online selling platforms, but the challenges are just uh, really maybe a little bit too much to be able to even get out to go to the post office. So right now the students are working on getting toward the end and toward the end traditionally uh, are competitions and junior achievement traditionally would have a competition where this year we were going to go to the John S. Knight Center in Akron and present on stage and set up the trade show booth. And really it's just a great day. The students uh, compete for prizes, company bonuses, and it's really a showcase of the work that they've done all year. So unfortunately that cannot happen, but there are online competitions. So JA has moved that competition online. So the students are working on their annual report right now, and they've been working hard on that. And they're also working on what we are now calling it an infomercial that they're going to submit. So there's still cash prizes, and we're working on that throughout April and early May. As far as JA Nationals, which traditionally happens in June, that has also gone virtual. So the, the students will submit an annual report, they'll submit a commercial, and if they get selected, and they're selecting up to 20 teams from around the country, and if they get selected, they will pitch live virtually to judges and they'll also have an interview. So that event will happen in June and about mid to late May, we'll find out if the applications we put in were accepted for nationals. So we're still working on the competition part uh, of the year. This is really the fun part. And so we're doing it virtually uh, and that's a great opportunity for the, <clears throat> for the students. So that being said, students are still working on uh, their reports and making sure all of their numbers financially even out because they're getting ready to liquidate the businesses at the end of the year. I've also heard from them. We talk every week on Google Hangout. So we have virtual meetings. And so some of the things the students are saying is, you know, they get to do their work whenever they want. And at home, they can set their own schedule. There's more quiet time for focus. But I also asked them, you know, what do you what did you take for granted uh, before all of this? And so some of the things I heard was driving, just getting a be able to drive around and, and go places, but also more related to, to school, just the ability to come in and work side by side and collaborate face by face, face to face. Uh, we collaborate virtually, which is great that we can do that. But the consensus from pretty much everybody is that's just not the same as being live together being able to work on projects side by side when everybody's together. So uh, this has impacted the students. They definitely all wish they could be back uh, in the classroom, uh, as do I. We're doing our best and uh, we're moving forward and hopefully the, uh, the competitions go well. I, I do appreciate Junior Achievement for still offering a virtual option. You know, they're working on the fly too. And uh, really everybody has you know, worked well considering the situation. So glad to bring you this update today. Uh, and any questions or comments, feel free to comment on the in the box below.